I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Welcome here to CT Style Friday. We did it. Well, Finally. I only did it three days. Ooh. Yeah, well, hey, it still counts. It's still Friday for you. Yeah. That's right. A nice half week tomorrow. Or, I mean, next week, though, full week for you. So get ready. That's right. With a little be, snow, I'm hearing as crazy. well. Yeah, unfortunately. Start off the week. But we're, we're going to brighten everybody's weekend right here because this is exciting. Dunkin' Donuts is in the house today. They always come through, our buddies at Dunkin'. Cheers. New pistachio. Is, yeah. Well, let's, let's try it. Moment of truth. Oh, it's so good. Like, I'm not even just saying that for TV. How good is that? Oh, my gosh. Bob, can we get like eight more of these things, please? <laughs> Bob, bring them over, please. Wow, Bob from, from Dunkin' Donuts and, and the producers, they would like some as well. So, shout out to our friends that over. That is fantastic. At Dunkin' Donuts. Now, last year, yeah, yeah. we I did this. Yeah, yeah. can't put it down, actually. This, yeah, you, you keep that. I'll, I'll kind of explain what's going on here. Dunkin' okay. Donuts held a winsome green giveaway, which we did last year, and in honor of pistachio coffee and latte flavor inspired by Baskin Robbins, yesterday on St. Patrick's Day, Dunkin' Donuts surprised this lucky customer. Check that out with an extra one thousand dollars. How awesome is that? When she least expected it. Crazy, crazy cool. She is excited there. Uh, this was on Whitney Avenue. Her name was Susie Recklett, and this is again in Hamden, Connecticut. And when asked what she would do with the money, she said she would buy a new car because her current car is from the Ice Age. So, <laughs> cheers to her! And some pistachio iced coffee. How fantastic! How nice, yeah. Pretty good there. All right. So, did you fill out a bracket? I didn't, but I, I hear that now. After what we're going to talk about here, 0.1 percent of brackets that everybody filled out mm -hmm. are, are still intact. That's that's how. Odd this I don't want to say anything, is. but I only got two wrong, and I'm mm -hmm. in with my husband has one uh, at the next street for his employees. Yeah. I'm number one. Number one. Number one. What's, just saying. What's the cash prize or? It's is, is just bragging a... rights, I think. Oh, just bragging. Okay. <laughs> right. But it was a really big day for uh, basketball fans in yeah. our state. Two Connecticut teams are heading to the next round. Mm -hmm. Yale upset Baylor in its first ever NCAA tournament victory. The score was 79 to 75. It was a nail biter. Wow. I was yeah. watching it with a Guinness, actually. Oh, were you? Celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Very Irish. <laughs> Teresa O de Four. I mean, but but what a game. I mean, for, for Yale to pull this off, they've had five presidents in their history mm -hmm. uh, through Yale, and, 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 and that was their first. Uh, NCAA tournament win, so just really cool to see a, a local yeah. team right here from New Haven. And then, of course, the UConn men. We, we kind of expected this. They had a little bit uh, better odds they, mm -hmm. to come the win over Colorado, 74 to 67. So uh, congrats to them. They're going to take on number one seed Kansas tomorrow, and then the Lady Huskies. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to hit the court first game tomorrow against Robert Morris. So uh, an exciting yeah. weekend here in Connecticut. So I have UConn beating Providence. Okay. That is my final. And Providence won last night in like yeah. a, oh, oh, by wow. one. So. Like the final final. That's like that's my, yeah, UConn's going to take it off. Well, you are alma mater. <laughs> I got to root for the Huskies always. UConn. <laughs> Huskies. UConn. All right, move on. No, okay, all right, darn. <laughs> I, I thought I would get you to do the whole chant. Maybe some other time. Maybe <laughs> if some they other win. Time. Yeah. All right, so the next story may come in handy for some spring breakers. Yeah. Uh, Uber is launching a cross-border service between Mexico and the United uh, States. A lot of traffic there, huh? Yeah, the popular ride-sharing service says Uber Passport allows riders to travel one way from San Diego to Tijuana. Uh, Just one way, one though. Way. Then what? You're that's, stuck? That's where I want to be, Teresa. <laughs> wow. Prices like aren't show. cheap. They begin with a, a $4 base rate, 30 cents per minute. And two dollars and thirty-five cents per mile, but it's like four hundred dollars eventually. Okay, that's what it comes out to. Oh, all right. So for anybody out there trying to do that, hey, cheers to you. Maybe if, if you're going to spring break, you probably enjoy a cold, refreshing adult beverage, right? I would assume yeah. so. That's what happens a in Mexico. A lot of people are doing that down there, and there's actually re new research out mm -hmm. that says that you know, oftentimes people say, "Hey, I'm having a bad day. I need a drink," but that's not the case. More people are drinking on happy days than sad on days. Happy Teresa. days. A Harris poll found 86% of people drink when they're celebrating a special occasion. 73% pop some bottles when they blow out the candles for their birthday, and 72% mm. celebrate a good day with a little libation. Not bad. Yeah. Now, now, what is a good day? What is that considered? That was very generic. A good day. A Maybe good just day. a Friday a in good general? Day. Friday. Today, 72%. <laughs> You're in a good there. mood? Cheers to you out there. Only 60% of people drink on quote unquote bad days, and 52% uh, drink when they're stressed, and 40% drink when they're going through breakups. Huh. A little kind lower than I thought. Turns into yeah. a problem at that point. Yeah, I don't right. Know. Well, yeah, when it gets to that point, probably uh, you you should call somebody if, if that's the deal. Hey, we're gonna move on here a little bit. Social media, you know, it's weird, Teresa, because yes. they have all these trending hashtags, and sometimes it's 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 great. It's empowering mm -hmm. uh, to make you know whether it's women feel great about their bodies or whoever's bodies out there. But now there's this new thing going on in China. It's called the hashtag A4 Waste 
challenge, and it's kind of demeaning. Uh, Tell to, me more, Rai. This is degree. interesting. So what they've done is these women, they take the eight by eight point five by regular eleven paper? Yeah, regular sheet of paper, and and they put it up on their torso to see if they're can skinnier. Can you do it long ways? No, no, it's it's, it's that way. It. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do it. Let me see if I can squeeze it. <laughs> this one works here. much better. <laughs> <laughs> so so they're they're starting this new trend, which is you know really sad. It's like you don't need to do this, but actually, uh, Leroy, our studio tech, and I actually tried it out this morning. Take how did it work out? Uh, let's see. There it is, yeah. I don't think you guys made the cut. No, not quite. Big <laughs> Daddy, Little good. Daddy. The two, hey. you look good. <laughs> That's big, half the battle. Big smiles there. So unfortunately, we did not achieve the A4 challenge, which I don't, I don't think anybody should. Like, get get rid of it. No need for that challenge. Okay. Sorry, that was my rant for the morning. Are you on your soapbox? I'm on my soapbox. Else? And the Edge Fitness is here today, so we're going to learn how to be healthy over in the Bender Kitchen. All That's right, all. so here's something to bring to your bosses. A new study has shown that employees who break up their day with funny videos online are actually more productive and work longer hours True. than people who don't spend the time online during the workday. Researchers in Australia found that people who interject some humor into their day are able to hit the reset button and take on their tasks with more energy and enthusiasm. This is why I act like an idiot the whole show. Have you, you know? watched any videos yet this morning? I have not, but uh, I, I, I did find some people here at WTNH who, who do take part in, in these antics. Take a look. It's hard for me to pick <laughs> wow, look at that. Lauren, this is great. Wow. See? This is what they're doing? See, Keith Coons, you know, people cow. thought he was a dog guy, but Keith is an avid cat lover. As you can tell, they love watching those funny cat I videos. I gotta tell you, those two have no time to well, be doing that this morning. No, I don't no, believe no. it. Yeah, I, I kind of forced them into that bit, uh, but thanks for being good sports about it. So, uh, funny, funny business. Hey, guys, we have a great show coming up for you today. 